Alright guys, so I'm doing a test basically in regards to a older generation MacBook Pro. This is before the unibody design. But what I did was I actually, uh, in my other videos, I uh, removed the actual hard drive that came with the machine. I think it came with a 160 gigabyte um, hard drive. And I think it was running at like 5400 RPM. And I put in a new Intel 520 series uh, solid state 120 gigabyte drive and that dramatically increased the performance probably five to six times faster and I do have <clears throat> I do have videos on how I did the installation and the comparison videos in my YouTube channel so please subscribe and check them out as well but what this video is gonna do is this is gonna really go in depth about um, how fast compared to this new generation late 2012 iMac model with Fusion Drive compares to an actual just solid state. Now, there are some differences here. Both machines are running uh, Mountain Lion, the latest updates and everything. Both of them have a wide array of software already on it. The difference is, is that one has obviously uh, more RAM and the processing speed. So I'm pretty sure the iMac is going to win but by how much. That's key. Uh, the MacBook Pro should do fairly well. It's obviously probably not going to beat the iMac because of the processing power, but I still believe that the uh, MacBook Pro will do a fighting chance. So here we go. One, two, three. So now what you're seeing is, is that the iMac on the uh, right is doing pretty decent. The uh, I'm, It's already done loading up. Uh, the MacBook Pro just showed that it finished loading and it's probably going to boot right into the desktop right now. There it is. So you can see there was probably about a 5-6 second difference between the iMac and the MacBook Pro. And that is actually impressive knowing the fact that the MacBook Pro on the left has an Intel Core 2 Duo 2.4 gigahertz processor with um, 3 to 4 gigabytes of RAM versus an iMac that just came out that has a Fusion Drive with 128 gigabytes of SSD storage for the OS. On top of that, it ships with 8 gigabytes of RAM. Now, obviously, the MacBook Pro RAM is a lot slower as well, running at 800 megahertz or 666 megahertz, 800, 800 megahertz system bus while the iMac is running for its RAM at 1600 DDR3. So there's a huge difference, but the SSD performs really well even in a slower machine. So I would highly recommend watching my other videos on how to upgrade your older MacBook Pros to give it new life. Uh, if you have any other questions or comments regarding this video or any others, please feel free to comment, please subscribe, and as always, Thank you for watching.